Over the years, many of you have loved finding yourself in the beautiful photographs of the official MTN Bushfire photographer, Sidel Willow-Smith. Her lens has brought MTN Bushfire to life in so many unique ways. Here's a chance to relive some of those moments. Hi everybody, my name is Sidel Willow-Smith. I'm a documentary photographer from Johannesburg based in Cape Town. And for the last 10 or 11 years, I have been very lucky to get to go to Bushfire Music Festival and document it as one of their three official photographers. Over these 10 years, I have had the pleasure of experiencing many great moments and it has been quite a challenge for me to select which images to include in the slideshow. Um, but I want to take you on a journey of my bushfire favorite memories and moments. So bushfire for me is about the people. It's about how hope and unity can inspire collective action. The hashtag bring your fire, that's what that means to me. The type of people that come to bushfire, the type of music that you get to listen to, the performances, the poetry, the creativity, the craft, the fact that so much of the profits go to young heroes and Bomake in the kingdom of Eswatini, helping local communities, really speaks to that essence of what it means to bring your fire. The fact that bushfire is for everyone. Bushfire is for the young, the old, kids wanting to play and learn and experience music and creativity in new and magical ways. And that all gets communicated to me through the architecture of House on Fire, the really beautiful sculptures designed by Jigs Thorne, the festival director, um, the, the quotes, the, the, the details that go into the spaces. It becomes a magical wonderland for everyone to enjoy. I love the way that at Bushfire, even if you're tired and the festival has gotten to you a bit and maybe you've got a little bit of a hangover on day two, you can find somewhere. You can find a moment to go into the barn and experience the soothing sounds of tonic being performed through silent headphones. You can go crazy in the incredible space of the amphitheater that is covered in roomy poetry that always has the most unique artists on the lineup performing in the space. It really is somewhere where I have learned so much about diverse music from across the African continent and across the globe. Another wonderful thing about Bushfire for me is that I don't really photograph a lot of live events anymore. It used to be my main form of photography, but now I've branched more into long format documentary storytelling. And bushfire is the one event that I still photograph and it's because I love it. And one of the things I absolutely love is going into the photographer's pit and feeding off the energy that the crowd gives when they're seeing their favorite performer. Like these women were watching Baloja, a really famous local Swazi singer who has the most incredible angelic voice. I love that. I love that a, a local musician is given the same focus as some of the huge inter international acts that come through the bushfire stage. It's always great to see somebody perform who you might have seen in other contexts on this global stage at bushfire and one of those for me is Petit Noir. Going to university in Cape Town, I had watched him perform quite a few times with his previous act called Pop Scar at a local well-known music venue, The Assembly, and watching the growth of his career and his sound expand to this incredible space of what he has made recently in the last few albums and seeing him perform on this wonderful stage for thousands of people from all across the globe was a moment that I won't forget soon. Another moment that I definitely won't forget soon was having the chance to meet Saul Williams, the legendary spoken word poet from America. Wow, what an interesting human being and, and an incredible performer. 
One of the things that I find so great about Bushfire is how much I learn about music from around the world. And in the last few years, one of the musicians that I first learned of at Bushfire that's definitely been on repeat on my playlists um, when I've returned home is Bombino, who is a Tuareg Niger musician who sings a lot about political concerns of the Tuareg nomadic people in his part of the world. And his music has this incredibly unique, energetic sound that just sticks with you. You'll notice that quite a few of the musicians I photograph get their pictures taken on this majestic throne that was designed by Jiggs Thorne. And it's where what we always set up in the backstage area so that we can interview the artists. Our production company, Makulu, makes all the media content for Bushfire. And in the space, hanging around backstage, I get to take these legends' portraits in this throne. Another legend, but of Maskandi music, is Vukasitete, who has performed previously with Spook Matambo's Fantasma group but has now branched into his own Maskandi group. And the sound is that very powerful traditional Zulu sound that gets under your skin. Um, Morena Laraba, wonderfully unique, powerful, soulful sounds from Lesotho. I saw him perform in the amphitheater last year at Bushfire, and it was like he was invoking the, the spirits on stage. It was quite... An incredible experience to see him play. Nakane Ture, South Africa's own, very, very talented, multi talented musician, writer, actor. Wow. Lyricist, vocalist, pianist, oozing talent and sexuality. Powerful, powerful performer. Mante Rabane from OK Zarp and Dierabane. Where Mante is standing in this picture is backstage in the house on fire, in the area where the artists wait to go onto the main stage. And I love to hang out there and capture some of the intimate moments pre-performance where artists are getting their thoughts together, taking a moment of, of thanks and prayer before they go out there and blow the thousand strong audience away. Blitz the Ambassador, wow. Incredible creative, uh, multi-creative filmmaker, artist, musician from um, Ghana who's recently received a Guggenheim Fellowship who really speaks to the power of creativity and how it can rewrite African narratives really incredible performer as well as another Ghanaian musician Jojo Abot who has a very unique multimedia approach to her work of course the legend the one the only Salif Keita it was quite a thing to actually get to spend two minutes with him and take his portrait growing up in a house where his music was often playing on the weekend and that that one of a kind voice and then actually getting to see him perform at bushfire and briefly meet him and photograph him is an experience i will never forget same goes with this man i think this was one of the last performances he actually did before he passed on brahu masakele quite no one quite like him very vivacious very funny very unique and wonderful man really powerful performance he gave especially hearing him perform Stimela another there are so many but wow getting to be there and see Lady Smith Black Mombasa on the Sunday afternoon the sun is slowly starting to go down in the sky the crowd is gearing up and there they come. They're in their unison, in their unique, one-of-a-kind sound. Another legend who has left us, but I was lucky to see him perform quite a few times at Bushfire over the years. A gentle giant, very tall, very graceful man. The Zimbabwean legend, Oliver Mutukudzi. So much power in his voice, so many albums he has created and so much of a legacy he has left behind. 
The things that I love about Bushfire is how diverse the crowd is. You can get traditional Eswatini members of the royal family. You can have tourists. You can have volunteers from the Peace Corps. You can have Joburg hipster kids, young, old, local, foreign, everyone in between. It really is a melting pot of humanity. I love walking around on the Sunday afternoon as the sun is setting, knowing that the festival is soon going to end and seeing which beautiful faces I can spot in the crowd. The send off on the Sunday before everyone heads home, that weekend, that incredible creative fest of light and energy and unity, the fire that has burnt that whole weekend, slowly starting to simmer out, but carry on in your life as you leave the festival space in your actions, in your thoughts, in the ways that creativity fuels you and, 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 and inspires you. While we can't be together in person this year, we can enjoy the virtual rendition of keeping the fire burning. And one of the things that will keep the fire burning is donating to the Bomake and Young Heroes cause that Bushfire is spearheading. So I really want to thank you for tuning in to my slideshow and bringing your fire. Please don't forget to donate and help the children and women of Eswatini stay safe. Hi, welcome to Yebo. Um, we're kind of open in the sense that um, people can come here if they need art materials or if they want to view personally some of the work that we have on our online exhibition. Then we kind of meet and talk outside so that we're staying safe with our masks. As soon as lockdown ends, then our gallery will reopen and we look forward to seeing people. But we've been here every day ever since the lockdown started because it's important for the artists that we represent that we're here working for them. So you can follow us on social media, which we've been very active on, and our exhibition, which is online. So we hope you have a look at that. And it's just nice saying hi to you all. So our gallery is a bit of a mess these days, as we've moved all our stock from our shop here. We're slowly sorting it all out and setting up a new gallery area so that once lockdown ends, it's all in place for you. But we've also been setting up an online exhibition on Artsy, selling art materials through WhatsApp with customers collecting orders, doing illustrations for a client and planning future projects. Our online exhibition features work by emerging artists from Eswatini in South Africa. Due to lockdown restrictions, artists have just emailed the photos of their work to us. Obviously, we miss having an opening and we're interacting with people, but at least this way we can still promote artists' work and creativity. Despite everything being upside down, we can't just stop being creative. Artist need work needs to be seen now more than ever. So, we're still doing art, but things have changed. We realized early on that we would need to adapt in order to survive. Income has dropped dramatically, as it has for so many others around the world. We were lucky in that Yebo Gallery is in a permaculture garden that we set up four years ago. We planted 180 trees, guava, mango, bananas, moringa, apple, li oranges, lychee, along with vegetable gardens scattered everywhere. We harvest seeds. We look after the bees and insects. We share some of the fruit and produce with the birds and the monkeys. The surplus food we share with those in need or sell to those who have income and are looking for organic produce, or we barter. Pete, who's a sculptor and screen printer, used to work as a baker many years ago, so he's gone back to that, baking from home and taking orders from customers. Everyone loves homemade bread and pies. Baking and gardening is creative work, just like painting, screen printing and sculpting. Our life now is simple, but busy. Social responsibility is very important, especially now. So we assist the community through Yebo Action, 
We've set up a neighborhood watch group in the last two years. Now we've expanded that in coordinating food parcels from generous neighbors to a care point in Ezzouini on a weekly basis, which assists 50 vulnerable families. We also bake one day a week and we take that along with other donations. We're part of Solidarity Eswatini now, which will also look at distributing seedlings and compost so gardens can be set up by vulnerable families throughout the country. This crisis is affecting all of us. We've been so touched by people's kindness and compassion in this time and feel that together we can find a way to grow and change in a sustainable way in the difficult times ahead. We look forward to seeing you at Yebo when we open again. But if you live far away, follow us on social media and artsy and get in touch with us. We hope you're all staying safe and well. I don't feel the need to shout about what's already mine Why are you being loud? Why are you being loud? Silence, Silence. need a bit of hush on the mind Reflective time, loud? guidance Earth yeah. gone cold, loud? freezing Why are you being loud? A world full of young blood you still teething loud? With a palm full of dough that we're needing Baking the bread with the dead we be grieving Trying to take life slow but we're speeding Feeling so low when a blacked out room Searching for light in these shades of gloom Give us some time, breathe, move with the sound, not light, speed, if you see with the mind, them eyes, breathe.